Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing something different. Uh, I decided to do a book review. So as you guys can see, I have lots of chess books here behind me, and actually um, I'm gonna challenge you for a person who is gonna guess how many books uh, I have. Uh, he's gonna get one hundred dollars uh, gift card. So if anybody guesses how many chess books I have over there. Uh, the exact amount you're gonna win $100 um, so without any further ado uh, I decided to do my first book review over here uh, this uh, this book here uh, and, you, and the one that uh, is showing here on the uh, on the page is the, the chess tactics workbook uh, very good book I decided to start with something simple um, so this book is uh, is the fourth edition. Um, it says, "Learn to command your chess army." Very impressive. Um, you can see the king, and he's like a general here. Um, has in, you know he has some medals on him. Uh, the the book was written by Al Woolham, uh, or he goes by his full name, Albert Woolham. So I don't know uh, much about the guy actually, but. Uh, um, it says that he uh, has been involved in the USCF uh, and uh, he uh, has been coaching for for a while um, so yeah I actually use that book myself many many times um, pretty much every time I go to uh, a beginners class or a school to teach or any uh, new chess student uh, this book is really really, really good yeah, it's mostly about um, the rules of the game and tactics. So um, he has tactics made in one, of course. Uh, you gotta have that. Uh, pin skewers, double attacks, discover attacks, pawn promotion, material threats, stuff like that. Uh, then we go to some more advanced stuff like decoys, cross pins, um, just very basic stuff. Uh, then you have your Made in 2, um, you got your Made in 3s, and then you have some um, tactics from uh, different openings like the Italian. Um, and then you have some other combinations, and he has something that he calls the Canadian Corner, which I'm not sure what, you know, what it is, but uh, we'll find out. Um, so, so that's the book. Uh, you guys are welcome to, uh, to to search it. Actually, let me see. Uh, let me see how much it is on on Amazon right now. So I know the price. The chess tactics. Let's see. I mean, it should sell on, on Amazon. Everything sells on Amazon, right? Chess tactics workbook. Here we go. Uh, it is only fifteen dollars. Uh, let's see if I can somehow share that. As you can see here, something like that. Uh, this thing is only fifteen dollars. Um, this is the paperback, two thousand, uh, written in the year of two thousand. You can also buy a used one for two forty nine. Wow, what a deal! <laughs> Uh, actually, I'm a big fan of buying used uh, books, um, used used stuff in in general. But um, it's only two forty nine. So uh, yeah, I mean, if it's in good condition, then why not? You know, if you don't have any markings and stuff like that, so uh, so go for it. I don't see it. Um, oh, let's see if it is any other format. No, so it, it's not coming as an audio book or as an ebook. I mean, maybe you guys can find a PDF somewhere. I I don't know about that, but um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty nice uh, pretty nice nice stuff. So the book starts with some uh, some general ideas of of chess, like really basics. Like you guys that just watch the Queen's Gambit and you love the, that series and you wanna learn to play chess. So this is this is this can be great for you, uh, especially I think uh, I think it can fit both uh, uh, adults and kids. Um, so he says, like, you know, it just kind of explains about the uh, movement of the, of the pieces, just kind of introduction about the uh, 
chess, uh, each piece, you know, its values, like really, really basic stuff um, that pretty much every uh, every beginning chess book should have. Um, of course, he under he uh, talks about the castling, uh, how to checkmate. He also note, uh, notes notation. By the way, I remember when I was giving some. Um, Again, going just to classes, I, was, I used to print those instructions of notations. And I think that I used uh, some of these. So, very, very, uh, very nice. Um, he also, um, just to kind of show you, uh, you can give it as a, as a quiz or a test to, to the students. So like this is, um, this is like a, the, the, the first page. This is a... Um, Checkmate with a, a rook, and so you can you can put your name, your date, and score. Hmm. So like you can give this to uh, to somebody. Uh, he writes down his name and a date, and he submits that, and then you can uh, you can check it and uh, give it a score. So it's very nice. Pretty much every page has that. So it's uh, it's really uh, you know it's especially good for scholastic uh, chess. You know for for coaches or uh, teachers stuff like that so um yeah so that's a really good book i, I recommend um you know if you're a chess enthusiast and, and you like to play chess and you like to solve tactics i i don't think it's gonna um take you very long i think that uh i mean the overall book is like about 100 pages um so really and, and the puzzle's pretty um uh, i wouldn't say pretty easy but uh, they're very uh straightforward so that's kind of the uh, the idea. Uh, so let's go and dive in and, and, and see. There, was, there were a few sections that I really, really liked, uh, which I thought were, would be interesting. And so the first one, you guys see this position here. Uh, the guy um, calls a triple Lloyd, which I never heard about. So I learned, learned something new today as well. <laughs> um, so... Uh, what is what is a triple Lloyd? The triple Lloyd was invented in 1866 by Sam Lloyd, the famous American chess composer known as the Puzzle King. Huh. The Puzzle King. Who is the who is the Puzzle King? Wait a second. I gotta research that. Who is the Puzzle King? Who is the Puzzle King? Let's see. Let's see if I if I know who it is. The Puzzle King. The Puzzle King. Huh. Yeah, I don't get a lot of uh, different uh, different responses, but uh, so he invented that, and they call it triple because there are three parts. In part A, you place the Black King on the board. So that he stands in a checkmate. Okay, so fir first task is to place your king in a checkmate. Interesting. Um, part uh, B is that you have to place the king in a stalemate. And part C, you put the king down so that the white has mate in one. Um, then he has to land the, uh, the mating move. Okay. So for example, this is the original example. So let's look at this example. Very interesting. Uh, so the question is, again, so let's do, uh, how do I add a king? I wanna add a king. Hmm. Okay, so the question is where, it's gonna be without a king. I'm just, I'm just gonna highlight the, uh, the squares. Okay, so just so you guys know, so the first, so the first task is, um, the first task is where do we land? Where should I put the black king? So this position is going to be a checkmate. Anybody has any idea? Which square should we put the king in a checkmate? So, uh, first of all, I can't put it anywhere here, right? So the two kings cannot be next to each other. We know this. Um, what else? So I'm looking for a checkmate. So it has to be at least a check, right? So it has to be on any of these squares. So somewhere here, or the bishop can attack. 
Now I'm also going to take out these squares. So it cannot be placed on these squares because if I place the king there, the king is going to capture uh, the piece. So it has to be, uh, so it cannot be on any of these squares. Okay. So that leaves me. <laughs> wow, I have a lot of squares left. Uh, that leaves me with this, 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 and G2. And I think that's it. So only the green squares it, it's leaving me with. Anyway, the solution is, is, is to place the king on E3. If I place the black king on E3, that's going to be a checkmate. Uh, the, the, the bishop is attacking the king. Um, the king cannot move anywhere. This is blocked. This is blocked. Uh, this is blocked by the queen. And so if I place... Let's see if I can... Uh, no. Chess. But if I place my, my king on E3, that's going to be a checkmate. Nice. Okay, so task number two. So that's the first one. Task number two is to place the king uh, down so that white has... No, sorry, that it's in a stalemate. Okay, so where should we put the, the king? So going back. My goodness. So where should I put the king, the black king, so it's going to be a stalemate? Very interesting. Um, okay, so now, so a stalemate is, of course, when the king cannot move anywhere, right? So the solution is... The solution is, anybody has any uh, thoughts? The solution is... Uh, I'm gonna move this away. No. Why do you keep appearing? Okay, so the solution is, is placing the king on... H1. The king is on h1, he can't move anywhere. Not here, not here, not here. The king is in a stalemate. Nice. Okay. And finally, where should we put the king? Uh, so then it's going to be a checkmate in one move. So it's going to be white to move. It's going to be a checkmate. So let's clear this out. So let's, where should I put the king? So, so this is going to be in a stalemate. Uh, hmm. So the solution is, and we're gonna go over some some drills later. But the solution is that we're gonna place the king on a eight. Okay, let's see. So the chessboard. This is an annoying pop out always. King on a eight. If I place the king here. Then now we have a checkmate. Why is a checkmate in one move? Hopefully you guys can see that. Queen to c8 is going to be a checkmate. That is a checkmate. So that's it. That's what they call the triple Lloyd. And this is... Uh, so that's kind of the idea. So the first, we place the king somewhere when it's going to be a checkmate. Oh, wait a Second, the task B is where it's in a stalemate, and task uh, C is uh, one move away from a checkmate. Okay. Okay. So now let's let's practice. Okay. Now I'm gonna practice. Now I don't know the solutions, so so we'll see if I get them right. Okay. So here's this a simple one. Here's a simple one. Okay. Here's a simple one. So okay. Task A. Where to put the king in the checkmate, that's pretty easy. If I put the king on a6, that's going to be a checkmate. So I don't have the solutions anymore, I'm just solving myself. So that's task A. Okay, task B, it's a stalemate. If I put my king on an a8, it's a stalemate. He can't move anywhere. Okay, so now task B, if I put my king on a4, queen before is a checkmate. So that's, that's pretty easy, right? Okay. Let's go to something a little bit more difficult. Let's go to the to the last page. Let's go to the most difficult page. Let's go. Uh, 
Okay, so this this is the, the, the last position. Okay, so white has uh, king, two rooks, knight, bishop, and two pawns. And I have to place my king so, so it's going to be a checkmate. Okay, so where should I put my king on this so it's going to be checkmate? Uh, let's let's kind of see where all the kings are, all the all the squares are captured. So this, this, this. Knight capture these, these. Okay, so it has to be a check, but and also the king cannot move anywhere. So. Where should it be? It has to be close. Here? No, because it can move here. So where should I put my king? So it's going to be a checkmate. Hmm. That's not easy. I thought it was E3 at first, but then he can move here. Hmm. Where should I put my... King? So it's gonna be a checkmate. Oh, here. Okay, king of three. If I put my king on f3, he can't move anywhere. Let's set it up. There's a check. Let's put it on green. Can't go here because of the rook. Can't go here because of the knight. This is the bishop is covering. This is all the two pawns are covering. And so that's a checkmate. Okay, nice. Okay, task number two. Is let's move this king away. Okay, so now we're gonna place the king, so it's gonna be a stalemate. Actually, I think stalemate is much easier. It's like somewhere here. Put here, here, yeah, here, right? If I place my king on here, he can't move here, can't move here. The two rooks blocking him. That's a stalemate. Okay, so next one. Uh, okay, finally, it's supposed to be the most difficult. One move from a checkmate. One moves from a checkmate. So, here, no. Here. Here, no, ah, you know what, I think it's a trick question, I think I know it, I think it's a trick question, but we'll see if that's correct, I think the king has to be here on g1, and so you can only see one check here, but then he takes the bishop. Um, I can also move my king, but then he's going to take the h2 pawn. So I think that the solution is I put my king on g1, and he's going to long castle. So, let's see this. King on g1. Castle! If it's still allowed, which I assume it, it, should, it should be. Okay. So that's, that's, uh, that's, well, that's what they call triple Lloyds. I didn't even know about that. Okay, awesome. So now, 
the other part that I like about the book, uh, the other interesting thing I, I discovered is uh, something that he calls a chess mazes. So let me set up this position. Very interesting. Chess mazes. Um, so bishop here, bishop here, rook, king, knight, here. Um, okay, so chess mazes. What are chess mazes? In the chess maze, only one white piece moves. Okay, so only we can move only one piece. The object is to capture the black king without taking any pieces or moving to any square where the white piece could be taken. A line can be drawn on the diagram to show the path of the piece. Uh, and this, uh, in this one, it's only gonna take him 15 moves. Um, so the black king should be captured in 15 moves. Pretty cool. Okay. So again, I, we can only move one piece. So of course it's not going to be the pawns because they, they cannot even check. And as well the king. So the ch we're going to have to capture with the rook the black king in that way that uh, we won't be stepping on any uh, squares which are threatened by other pieces. For example, here. I cannot move here. I cannot move here because I'm going to get captures. And I have as many moves as I, as I can. So here is the uh, the solution: Rook H4, Rook G4, Rook G3, Rook C3, Rook C1, Rook A1, Rook A4, Rook B4, Rook B5, Rook E5, Rook E7, Rook D7, Rook D6, Rook H6, and finally Rook to H8. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 moves. So pay attention that, that uh, no square was attacked by any other opponent's piece. Okay, so now let's try one together. That's one. That's that's not the, the most difficult. Let's let's start with the easy one. Nah, this is this one's hard. Actually, no. Let's do. Let's do an easy one. Chess maze, maze in seven. Okay, so here, here. Here, here, and here. Okay, so the maze is, is ch this is chess, uh, this is maze in seven, which means that we're gonna capture, capture the black king or you, you have to land here in seven moves. So obviously I'm gonna have to uh, move my bishop, I assume, but you can just move this and I can only move one piece. And I guess I can't take, do this with the king. I assume so. Um, I can also not take any other pieces. Okay, so let's start with the bishop. So bishop, I can move it here or here. Um, wait, so can I go here, here, here? No, right, because the king is attacking the square. So I have to, so I have to get the bishop either here or here. So let's let's work backwards. Here I can move from here. So okay, I think I found it. So one. Two, oh no, I can't go here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. I think that's correct. Okay, so this was a warm up. Oh, let's do the most difficult one. Okay, maze in 21. Holy moly. Okay, so here, 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 here. Upon here, upon here, upon here, upon here. 
Uh, no, actually, this pawn is here. Bishop, bishop. And black king. Okay, so here's the position. And here, uh, it's white to move. Again, we need to mason, mason 21. Okay, so definitely not gonna be the pawns, right? Can't move this, can't move this, can't move this. This is attacked, so it has to be with the knight. Okay, so one, I have to move this knight here. Can't move here or here because of the bishop. So I have to move here, two. Three, four, five. Uh, I have to go six, seven, here, 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 here. My goodness. Did I lost it? I lose track. Uh, here. Here, here, here. Wait a second. No, this is attacked by the bishop. Can I go here? Here, 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 here. E8, C7, and A8. Wow. Nice. Okay, so let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 moves. Very nice. Nice puddle. Um, so yeah, so that that's pretty much it. Um, then here's another chapter for Canadian crunches, which is... Uh, uh, mating combinations taking on the rights from Canadian events. Okay, he's probably maybe he is uh, um, Canadian, though his address listed here in the US. But uh, yeah. So anyway, this is uh, this is the uh, the chess book. Um, again, this is the chess tactics workbook. Um, Fifteen dollars on, on Amazon. Very easy going. Pretty pretty light, by the way. I like that it's pretty light. If you don't have to, I don't have to. Uh, carry a, a heavy load in, in a bookcase um so yeah so it's so a good especially good for schools and scholastic chess so um thank you for for watching and uh, i'll see you in my next book review